welcome to my channel and it's Big Bear I'm bringing you this table for Black Meat Wukong uh, I have a, another video but that video is quite outdated with the new like option or feature I'm adding in and also there's some option that I need to clarify because I think a lot of uh, users get misunderstanding about what I put thing in there so anyway when you download the table you will see one option like this just click on that one it will pop up a window showing my accreditation I have to put this in just because some other channels have been like stealing my table and put it at their product anyway we just put it in here and then next is my uh, channel promotion if you like this table and you like my content give me a subscribe thank you for that then the main thing gonna be the master script over here so what you want to do here just activate it and now you see the functional script open that one and we wait a little bit sometimes you're gonna show up um, like some error you just click no to all okay when it's showing up and then uh, reactivate the script okay just like that and now you see the content in here all right there's some screen already activated and just removing them so kind of like make things easier we go one by one the first one is experience and spark pointer okay after you activate this one notice that you see uh kind of like question mark right here okay what to do is press escape or uh, open your menu go to sale advance and open any of these anything work okay you can try this and now you see the spirit and the spark uh, number updating over here so let's see if we can find some monster route oh uh not here i will fly i would fight later but i need to do the celestial peel first okay so for the celestial peel over here there's some small instruction and as you see right now they are like uh, question mark okay what you need to do is go and talk to Sue Dog alright is it a dog uh, fox whatever and when you talk with him you're gonna see the uh, address start updating now you must have something already crafted so for example you see my defense peel over here is still live question mark so to update that one first of all you will need to uh, craft that thing first okay so click on that craft and now, just wait for this thing to, to work on that all right now just escape out and talk with sudok again now you want to see the address of that see that it just get updated and I have one so that's how you update an address and you can change the number to whatever you want and then save the game reload and you will get that uh, permanently okay so that is about the uh, um, celestial pill I'm gonna remove it since I need more space so let's go back to the experience let me see. Oh, I almost forget. In the last video, I put too much of the desktop audio that make it really hard to hear. So I'm removing down. Let's see. I'm in chapter three right now, so I'm just gonna go over here. And I need to back up myself because I don't wanna accidentally kill the uh, the boss. Uh, accidentally level up too much and then you know because I do some content like um, one hit kill stuff no damage boss and we don't want to be over leveling and people gonna say oh this is easy you were cheating well I, actually I was cheating but let's see which one how do I back this up share anything that's not steam okay I already have it uh, back up anyway so now we go back to the experience you see I have like uh, 2100 um, experience right here and I'm at level 74 all right let's change it to some big number uh, let's say 100,000 all right you won't see it updated in here okay it's still that because the game had two mass value one is for the um, one is for your actual manual over here and one it would show it up on the 
on your screen when you kill something. Alright, and this is good to, um, let's see, do the damage control too. So what about damage control, we have damage multiplier. I can put this thing to, how much you want, 20? Let's put it at 0 0.1. Okay, because that means like I, take, I do like no damage. Let this guy hit me. So you see that the damage reduction. I should. I want to change it to damage receive multiplier. So basically, like you multiply whatever damage done to you by the number you put over there. So one is default and zero. Let's say I put one and see how he hit me. Come on, hit. You see that I'm, I get more damage. Now let's say zero point zero one. I take like almost no damage to no damage just like that all right and let's see when i hit him see that yeah he received very little damage now i change it to 20 damage multiplier and remember our experience is about like a hundred thousand right now so i should level up a few times so i'm going from level oops get out 74 to 85 that how you use the experience uh, um, idea. All right, damage. See that now. Let's say I get it to 40. I shoot basically one shot everything. Hit this one right here. See that one hit. As simple as that. All right, player and controller. Uh, just like before, we had a pointer and we had a gold mod uh, controller over here. Do whatever you want with these number right here. They will not be safe, but you can use them for your run. Okay. Um, let's see. Expand multiplier. Very straightforward by the name. No skill cooldown. So let's see where's my skill. See that. I can constantly do this. Right, uh, where is my bat up here? There should be one, but well. Okay, like this. Oh, I'm out of mana. <laughs> okay, so that one of the thing. Oh, come on. Let me go. Always drop items just by the name, it's gonna drop, and this is not a script making by me. It's just convenient to put it in here. Thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, if they have request to remove, then I had to remove it. Anyway, select the item inventory. This one is good to, um, for example, after you activate that script, you just go to the inventory and move over here, and yeah, you can see like the item top ID and item amount changing around just updating the address to the thing and you can change it to whatever you want now for this script after if you do the uh, item ID changing all right uh, even the amount after you change everything right make sure you save the game and uh, reloading the game because it for example a lot of time people were trying to do to change the crafting material what happened is like you change the real value, but the mass value is not changing. The game used the mass value to calculate the um, the crafting material after you're done, and then that's gonna give a conflict between like the actual value and the mass value. Most of the time, the mass value is not really matter, but in this game, somehow it matter in the crafting manual. And if you have that, a lot of time it's gonna corrupt yourself. Okay, so make sure after you change the thing save and reload and i would not recommend you to do it too much because i most you get most of the item throughout the games anyway there's not really a lot of um what is that there's there's not really a lot of what is that thing called um hidden item in here that you cannot find basically you can find everything like quite easy all right and also like sometimes people were wondering oh how do i get i'm missing crafting material for the next weapon well you will you basically cannot really craft the next weapon until it unlock and usually when unlock you got all the items that you need okay so again be careful using that one now in finite item this one working with the item you use 
or item that you consume okay um, the mass value which for example right now you see I have like a drink on the left side of the screen like 6 over 6 if I use that you're gonna go to 5 okay but yes, as you can see now it's 5 but it just keep at 5 and that's just the mass value the actual value is still 6 let me see where's my thing which one is that I see my stamina going up well it showed 5 or 6 so eventually the, the real value is never changed like after I save the game and move over you wanna see it going back to 6 same thing with your uh, material when crafting or like even when you try to selling stuff so let's see now this does not apply if you have more than 99 items and I really mean it if you have it okay so let's say right now I'm having 120 lot piece of coal over here okay now if I sell just five of them right it's gonna reduce I have 150 but if I try to sell like 110 which means the leftover is 5 it should not receive, reduce or reducing I still have 150 see that so so like it like after you have it okay that's it all right and let me see that should be it right I should have an extra script. Where is it? Uh, I have another script. I think I'm going to add in the table later. But basically, that script makes you uh, kind of like you can see right here. I have all my three uh, relic upgraded without like unlocking for the game. It's just changing this uh, available part right here for you to uh, infinity. That's it. And if you have any question, anything, if I can, I will try my best to respond as fast as possible. If not, then most likely um, the question can be answered in the video already. Alright, then have fun and we will see you later.